Hello everyone, I'm going to show you today a tip that is very useful when you are applying LUTs and you don't have the results you, you expect because you haven't exposed well the shots or you have different exposures and what happens with creative LUTs is that they give information to the image to be applied in certain ranges of, of it. For example, the, the M31 LUT, the teal and orange, uh, so well-known LUT, takes the mid-tones and takes them to the orange side and the shadows to the blue side, the tilly side. But the problem happens when you have shots with different exposure. For example, you have been shooting an event or something like that where you don't have entire control of the exposure. Um, what the LUT consider mid-tones for example, the skin, it's being shot in the low end of the image. So the LUT takes your skins and takes them to the blue side instead to the orangey side and you have different results. So that's annoying and I'm going to show you a, a trick to solve this. So let's start. Let's say we have these two shots here. This is for an upcoming fashion video we're shooting and I'm going to apply a lot I created specifically for this for example in color finale you can do this in every editing suite you have let's go and apply the fashion contrasty lot okay this is the result I want and this is the shot I used to create the lot so now it's applied and now I'm going to apply the same LUT to this shot. I'm going to do this, same thing. Um, you see the result, it's weird at the beginning. Um, maybe some of you get frustrated when you are applying LUTs and this happens and you don't know why. Uh, you say this doesn't work in every shot. Okay, that has an easy solution that I'm going to show you now. So, obviously, this shot is the one that you have to fix. But the problem is that when you apply things after the LUT, uh, the changes have been already done, so it won't help repairing the image and correcting it. So all the things that you are going to do to correct the exposure have to be done before applying the LUT. So for example, and this is the trick, we open controls here, we apply a curve, but this curve is now after the effect. We want to put the curve before the LUT. Okay, before the LUT. So we are applying the, the curve to this image really, not to this one, to the original VLOG file. And then, what we're going to do is to, to look the other image, to see more or less the, the waveform here. But even by eye, we're going to raise the exposition, creating a point in the middle of the curve, and taking up. Ah. Okay, if you feel that your high end is going to be overexposed, you can control here that and raise more the shadowy part of the image. Okay? That way the skin goes back to a normal color as opposed to this. Uh, we get rid of the blue tint that we had before applying the curve. So you see that now the shots are more or less corrected. If you if you feel that your that your higher part of the image is going too far, you can low and make it softer a bit and play with this. Remember, do always a curve, you know, a rounded curve because it's going to be more pleasing and more subtle when you are correcting the exposure to in the image. So now you have a very close effect in the two images. 
And as you see, the waveform too is similar. You can do this curve not in this program only, but in every editing suite that you have and uh, allows you to do a curve correction. For example, we can delete this one. Here we are with Final Cut Pro. We're going to do a curve correction here. And as you see, the curve is after the effect. We have to put it back before. And now we do the same here. You know, it's the same thing. The thing is to show you that you can do it wherever the editing or correcting suite that you have. Just play with this, with this idea, and I hope it helps you to solve all these problems that you may have when applying LUTs. That's all. I hope you like the tutorial. See you the next time.